Okay, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the Model T uh, Doodlebug tractor, homemade tractor. Um, it's a 1927 engine. Uh, it does have an aftermarket water pump. Uh, the generator, we just basically hooked the clip to the post there. We don't have any regulator or anything. Uh, if you can see the uh, wires are in tough condition here. Um, but this is basically the way it was all the way since 1941. It's been painted many colors. As you can see, the red and the green, and there's some black showing, a little bit of yellow. Uh, we've got our 7-Up uh, can here for our fuel cap, and we got our paint stick there for our check how much fuel is in it. And we've got this homemade linkage here probably off an old cultivator or something or horse-drawn equipment and we have an old John Deere walking plow um, there's John Deere right on it um, and that's been rigged up to the back of the tractor here um, we have tire chains on there uh, otherwise we wouldn't do very well plowing um, another note this is the uh, original fuel tank that would be probably in a 27 Touring or something like that um, trying to get out of the shade here there's some extra weight here some solid steel that's been on there a long time and um, that rock um, that's been on there a long time too we got photos of that back in the 60s that rock is still was there then Model T truck rear end, uh, no brakes, uh, it's a worm gear rear end, uh, it looks like they've actually welded it right to the axle, and it's a Model T car frame and they've welded that to that bracket there. Um, the only thing that's been replaced is this wood seat had rotted away and we used some old barn board to redo that. Um, let's see. Uh, we, I had to replace the baling wire. Uh, the baling wire that originally was on there failed. I had to put a new piece on there. Um, we're basically looking at two three-speed transmissions in a row here. Uh, I was told one, the first one up front here, is a Model A. I'm not positive of that. And I was told this second one here is a Plymouth, about a 33 Plymouth. So I'm not 100% sure of either one of those, but that's what I've been told. Um, the only other thing about the thing that we've done to it, we've replaced some of the wiring. Um, and obviously we changed oil, we put a new fan belt on it and some radiator hose and we had to patch a couple holes in the radiator. And I think we had a flat tire we had to fix. Otherwise this is pretty much exactly the way it was since uh, 1941 when he purchased it. So been in our family a long time and it's kind of fun to get it out and uh, plow the garden we just got done plowing the garden with it and uh, worked pretty well um, I think I need to do a little work on the plow it doesn't seem to want to suck down quite far enough we got to shove it back a little farther than but other than that uh, it is what it is and time to put it away till next year